The decision to refer Kennedy Japan to the party's disciplinary committee for allegedly misconducting himself during the Superdelegate Congress has raised concerns. Some analysts have argued that his comment did not constitute an insult or a threat to demand summons by the party. Political scientist at the University of Ghana, Professor Ransford Jampo, says the NPP must not be selective in handling disciplinary cases. He is concerned about the seeming aggressive nature in which the party deals with certain individuals when they breach its rules. You pulling, dragging somebody before a disciplinary committee is not tantamount to the person being guilty. I do not see how telling somebody that I'm going to give you a showdown amounts to burning a party. I, I don't, in my mind, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see how it amounts to anything. The party must be seen to be fair in handling some of these things. Well, he has also raised concerns about the manner in which the party presented the outcome of the Superdelegate Congress. According to him, the party shouldn't have placed people in order of merit. He says there's only leaves a room for people to make prejudicial comment. The party may want to review the electoral processes to reflect the recommendation that in future, the outcome of superdelegate elections should not be announced in any order of merit. You do not use this superdelegate, you know, the outcome of superdelegate election as a basis for anything. While urging the party to elect a legitimate candidate for the 2024 elections, he says the top three flag bearer aspirant must not be complacent. My advice to all of them is that nobody can afford to be complacent and nobody can also afford to be discouraged. Christian Yale, TV3 News, University of Ghana, Accra.